Hey what's up guys, welcome to another video, and this is not a review video of, of Regis, this is not a review video for the current banner, this is a... Someone wanted me to compare supports. <laughs> and don't get confused, this is a global video, do not, do not get confused, there are some people in the comment section that got confused last time I did something like this. This is a global video, I'm using the JB side because there is no Regis currently on the global side yet. So this is the only time I can, that's the only way I can show him. <laughs> so, the reason why I think that he is the best <laughs> in coming in the new age of the game. One, elemental resistances are not nearly as important anymore on the, coming out on the JP side, I mean on the global side. Mitigation buff and buffs and things like that will become more important in HP, in HP barriers and things. And that's all that he gives. That's many things that he gives. And also... <laughs> The biggest thing that he gives is what I'm going to harp on. The, no, the biggest two things. Remember guys, this is an I review video. We'll be going more in depth and things like that. Tomorrow. Or, no, Thursday, sorry. Thursday. <laughs> so, 200% buff. On a cooldown, not a, on a limit burst or anything like that. It doesn't have to unlock it. It's right there waiting for you to use it. And also you get the, the chain. You get a chaining frame just like uh, Fid does with her uh, one of her moves. <laughs> so also, um, killers seventy five percent for for four types and two of them are the most common things. That's why I think that this is one of his best moves because he gives seventy five percent magic and physical demon and human killer, fairy and reaper two. Yes, those are good, but. Demon and Human are two of the top threats in the game that are most seen. <laughs> On top of that, his Lone Burst is insane. 50% damage mitigation and also a 3k HP barrier. Now you can also use it to finish with Lone Burst missions and stuff like that because uh, it does do damage and it's 5 hits. You don't want to max it though because... Uh, yeah, let's not get into that too much. That's like a review now. We're only talking about how good he is. <laughs> So on turn one, he's able to triple cast. So he's already ahead of the pack. All the other supports currently in the game either have to use an ability to unlock something like Ignis, or only get dual casts like Sylvie or Unifreya. Luna Freya, sorry. Pretty sure I'm missing someone else. Who else am I missing? I tried not. I tried to include all supports that are currently available in global. Uh, Hope. I know not many people talk about Hope, but he's okay too. Uh, Hope, I'll have to dual cast, he gets triple cast at the start of the battle. So he's already ahead of the pack, he's able to triple cast all of his ability, and on the global side he'll be able to use his, um, his latent ability already, because he gets it automatically, so that's a full break, full status immunity, I mean, it's full stat break resistance for all allies plus 2.5k barrier, which is quite nice. He also has 3% regular damage mitigation, uh, and also 1k HP barrier, plus a bunch of other things like uh, physical, 20% physical, 20% magical on regular abilities and things. And also he has, for one turn only, he has 40% damage mitigation down here. <laughs> and it's also a chaining ability which is nice. And also lastly, uh, he gets 15 Lempers Crystals, plus 50% HP and MP heal. <laughs> so guys, this is basically the new generation of a support. He does not offer any elemental resistances, but he doesn't need to, because you don't need to do that anymore. A support does not need to really do that kind of stuff anymore, because there really aren't that many bosses that need that kind of uh, protection against. And when Cecil comes, you really won't need any, because Cecil does all that stuff by himself, pretty much, for the most part. So. Killers, the buffs, the Lone Burst, already so much better than all the other supports available. Ignis, once 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 the, the king of supports comes around, I don't think many people are going to be using Ignis anymore other than if you need elemental resistances, but he does everything that Ignis does but way better in terms of like M giving MP back. Oh, and I just noticed something. I did not even know he had this ability really. But he has an immune. He has a resist. He has a uh, 
resistance to staff 100% in his kit. I didn't even notice that. I've never used it before, but that already makes him way better than Ignis. Being able to re resist stop? That's insane. So already that's insane already, so yeah. Sylvie, yeah, she can get triple cast, but she can use the cooldown for it. And yeah, she she can kind of outgrind Regis in a way, because she gets triple cast more often. He only gets it once only, and then after he dies and comes back, he gets it again. But that's not the point. The point of the triple cast is able, so he's able to use, he's, he's able to use three of his abilities and then He's on top of it already. He's already on top of it compared to where Sylvie would be where she's a little slower and stuff like that. So... I don't know how else I'm supposed to, to, to word this, because like... Uh, I just feel like he's just better. I'm just... I'm sure I'm biased for Regis because I've used him. If you guys need to know more proof, I've got tons of videos on the JP side for showing how good he is and... I've only been talking about him for months, guys. XD. How good he is. <laughs> like, here's the best example. Here's here's a, here's a true thing. So, back then I pulled for Luna Freya. <laughs> I was like, damn, she's super spicy. Super spicy support. And I started using her, and I was like, eh, I don't, I, what am I going to use her for, really? Her kid is kind of okay, but not the rest. And then when Regis comes out, he's like, oh my god, it's like a... It's like the next level. And after I after I got Regis, I haven't really barely even used Luna Frey after that. So that's basically already a good comparison. I've really barely even used Luna Freya that much. <laughs> there is one fight where Luna Frey is good with the the latent ability where she gets gives water imbue to everybody. And water in peril. That's I use that quite often for some fights, so yeah. He's she's good for that, but for Dark Visions alone, he is the best support in the game. <laughs> Being able to give chaining for because you need to get over 100 chaining in Dark Visions to get up to bet to get the SS ranking for chaining. You need to get over 100 or more. So, and you can get SS without 100 chaining, but it won't be at the highest points. It needs to be 100 or more to get the best amount of points. So, yeah, <laughs> Regis is just best for Dark Visions. Regis is the best for upcoming trials. Regis is the best for giving killers. Regis is the best for giving buffs that are immediate. That you don't have to wait for wait for anything like unlocking anything or using a lone burst. It's right there. Boom! You got it. It's on a five turn cooldown too. So I mean, it's just it's just so it's, he's just so good. I just, I can't say much more about it. The only negative is that his TMR is really crappy. His STMR is better, but you shouldn't chase STMRs. I mean, I've really only used it for himself anyways. I remember back then I used, I was trying to get this for my Onion Knight, CG Onion Knight, because I thought it was like really insane, but like then, like, uh, I'm just gonna put the, not gonna use it on anyone else but him. But yeah. He's just really insane, guys, and I just can't say enough about how good he is <laughs> compared to the other supports. Uh, he trounces hope. No offense to all hope likers out there, but he's far better just because he gives killers, guys. He gives killers to four things, and two of them are very used, mo most used on the game. Human and demon are the easiest things to use on four. <laughs> so, Sylvie, you can make an argument for because she has a lot of things similar, but she doesn't give killers. Uh, Sylvie's lone burst. Theoretically could be better in certain situations, but it's really hard like the biggest thing I have had a hard time with this video is that Almost all the supports on the global side right now may, are mainly focused on like, like uh, doing almost resistances and things And not so much on mitigation like Ignis I think is the best example really Because he does provide mitigation, but he takes too 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 long. It takes a whole turn guys Whereas Regis you get it right now. And that's, that's what I like Right now, and I'll have to wait. There's no waiting involved with Regis. The only here, only really, the only thing you're waiting on is his own first. But he gets it up super fast, super duper fast. So, yeah. The main, the main uh, bullet point I'm gonna say is that 
with his triple cast in the first turn, like I've been saying, he gets a, a head start on all of his abilities, so you would use the three main ones, which I usually use this for full stat break, unless you have Fulco, which you'd do something else. Then the mitigation and the stat buff, or you could do the mitigation, the stat buff, and the killers. But I usually save the killers for the turn where we're going to actually attack with my DPS to get the most spiciest amount of turns on those killers. So yeah, the triple cast is just there to get ahead a little bit. So then you're able to roll up when those when those uh things starting to wear off a little bit, then you can put them back on because you're already ahead, right? You're already ahead with that triple cast on and compared to dual cast like all the all the other supports in the game other than Sylvie who can get triple cast. But yeah, this is all I've really had to say guys. Hopefully this was able to help you. This is not incentivizing you to pull for just I'm just saying that I feel like he's the best support in the game. And I've proven that many times over. Many, there are many trials where I wasn't able to really clear it without his help. That's what I'm going to say. So if you want to go check out some Regis spotlights, I've got them on my channel already. Anyways guys, let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong for some reason? I feel like, at least for this guy, I think I'm right on the money. I've used him over and over and over again. I've used him for months. I think... For this specific unit, I can't be really called wrong that much because I've I've played I've play tested him so many times for months of play testing and using him and all that kind of stuff. I think I'm an expert at least on this unit. I'm usually not an expert on anything, but I think this time I think you guys can maybe at least be persuaded to be of the b opinion that he is the best. But you know, if he is the best, if you have Sylvie, if you have Luna Freya and stuff, that's fine. I'm just saying that I really want him. So, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was good. Uh, there were some people that wanted me to do this in the comment section of my, one of my videos. So, to you who wanted to see this, hopefully this was uh, helpful to you. This was kind of like all over the place, though. This was kind of like a rant towards other supports and how good he is. But, not really. I don't know what I'm trying to say at this point. Um, I'm just trying to say, like... He's the best. That's why he's the king of supports, is what I'll always say. So thanks for watching guys. If this did help you, please leave a like. Please subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And leave a comment down below if you'll be going for him or maybe you'll just want it from an EX ticket pull or something like that in the future. And lastly, uh, if you're still watching, I am in need of some assistance financially, so if you are feeling generous in some capacity please feel free to visit the link down below it's a paypal link so i'd greatly appreciate tattooed of that i'm trying to say i'm trying to say that but i can never say it so i guess you get a laugh out of that xt anyways guys this video is already way too long so thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace